How's it going everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video and my name is The Drum Guy. Now as you can probably tell, this video looks a bit different, different surroundings, probably some different audio. So I'm actually just filming this on my phone because I wanted to have a bit more space to show off some of the things that I bought from the UK Drum Show. So the UK Drum Show 2023 in Liverpool. What can I say? At this point, I hopefully would imagine you've seen some of the videos I've put up of the UK Drum Show, both um, an interview video and the actual overarching uh, video of the Drum Show. Obviously, at the end of that video, I do talk about how I think the day went, so I'm not going to go too much into it, but uh, this video is more to show off what I bought type thing, kind of like an unboxing video, which I've never done on the channel. The show itself, I thought was was phenomenal. It, it was more than what I expected it to be. Uh, I went for both days. So the first day, I was on my own. I didn't do that much filming. It was more me walking around and um, sort of getting to grips of what was there and what I could check out. The second day, my friend Jarvis joined me, which you see in the video and uh, that was the day we pretty much filmed a lot of the stuff um walked around tried on tried on some different things like electric drum kits and some actual drum kits tapping cymbals tapping snare drums talking to some amazing people it was great that's where we um were lucky enough to have the opportunity to speak to a few different companies there were some companies we wanted to talk to uh, but we just ran out of time before we knew it we were getting sort of kicked out of the venue um because time was up um so there's a so i'll mention it there's a company i really wanted to talk to which was the company Duelist. So if you haven't seen anything of them, um, basically it's the company that's made like the single double pedal, which I can't pronounce the drummer's name because I'm going to butcher it. But there's a drummer who, if you've seen any of his videos, he's really phenomenal. I like, do one-handed stuff and so on and so forth. Uh, he uses that pedal and uh, they actually had a video on the TV on their stand of him playing that, pe uh, that pedal. And I really wanted to speak to them and get it on video and just have it because the guy who invented the pedal was there and I wanted just to have that opportunity to talk to him and um, get him to explain how he created this design and how he came to do it. But unfortunately, we, we ran out of time. Like We went there a few times, but every time we went there, he was talking to someone or a group of people already and we didn't want to interrupt. But... Um, there were other things we wanted to, to make sure we got filmed and again we didn't want to interrupt a person he was already speaking to so we were like oh yeah we'll just come back but every time we came back it was be he was speaking to someone else anyway this video is to kind of talk about some of the things that i i got from the from the show um one of the things i got uh this is actually for free is uh, a hat <laughs> it's got a scan over the top uh, i'm not a massive hat person i don't think i ever wear hats if i wear <clears throat> anything i think i wear like a beanie once in a while i don't really wear caps it's never really been my thing um but the awesome people at scan gave us this uh they gave us like a little handout as well um and this is one of the companies that we we spoke to and videoed and they were ha they were happy enough to speak to us so go go check them out um amazing stuff that they've got i've been looking for some new drumsticks so i currently use you can see it i use pro mark um 5a long rebounds and i've been enjoying kind of like the extra length of the stick um and yeah they, they have they have felt nice i've only got like three pairs of them because i've been trialing them um to use but I thought it'd be nice to maybe try and try out some sticks that I'm actually, because I'm there in person and be like, well, you know, I'm here, I might as well um, actually try some sticks. And there was a company there that I've not seen before. Um, and I think they're a very fairly new company. So these drumsticks are a company called Vincent or Vincent. 
I, I'm not sure how they would pronounce it. It says made in Sweden, so that's why I, I put a bit of the accent on. Um, I, I'm not sure how they, they would pronounce it. Um, I've never heard of these before, and they had a, a decent sized stall, and oh my god, the selection of sticks was insane. Every size, there was different length. When I was speaking to the guys at the stand, um, they showed them the sticks I use, and they said that these ones were pretty much the equivalent. So these are uh, 5B XL Precision. Um, so they said the precision line that they do is like the equivalent to the Promark rebounds. Uh, I asked if they had a website um, to link. Uh, they don't at the moment. They, they said that they're launching a website uh, next week, I believe. But the main thing, so there's two things I bought. So this is, ooh, nearly dropped it, that would have been great. Uh, this is one of them. So this is a Mapex Sonic Clear Single Tom Clamp. This was about 30, 36 quid, I believe. That might be, again, just the drum show price. A lot of the stuff that they had, that they had like just prices for the drum show. I got it in chrome. They gave me the option to have it in black as well. Um, but a lot of my hardware on my drum kit is chrome. So it's it's solid. Uh, so you got um, clamps over here and then a little wing nut there to adjust this bit to clamp onto um, whatever stand or hi-hat stand or um, cymbal stand you want to clamp it to. Um, this loosens the ball joint. So it's fully customizable in how you have it. A solid piece of kit, it, it's quite weighty, but it, it feels durable. Um, it feels like it, it ain't gonna break. So, this is the big box. This is the main thing I bought. It says Zildjian on the box. It's not anything from Zildjian. It's not a symbol. Um, this is just a random box that they had lying around. Um, yeah, it's it's nothing Zildjian. This is, oh god, you can feel the weight. This is uh, from Mapex. Um, and I bought this, it was the last one on display. This cost about £99. So let's open it. And here we go. So I bought a little 10 by 5.5 snare drum. Um, does it say? So it's a Mapex MPX 10 by 5.5 maple poplar snare in black. I think their class is, as, if you look online, as their hybrid snare. Um, ooh, sorry, that's the, the tag. Um, absolutely beautiful looking drum. I have been looking to add a side snare to my setup and have a smaller snare. I've been fascinated with smaller snare drums recently. Um, and a part of me was actually thinking, I mean, I might actually use this sometimes as my main snare. Which is going to sound absolutely crazy because it's such a small snare drum, but I really want to see what it's like um, being used as a main snare Tag again. Being used as a main snare drum. But it's an absolutely beautiful snare. Um, I love the black hardware on it, the fact that it's fully black, it's not chrome. Obviously the rest of my drum kit is Mapex, so the fact that I got this it was beautiful. There were two snare drums I was, I was dancing between. Uh, this was the one, and the other one was a Tama Metalworks. Um, same dimensions, 10 by 5.5. The Tama one had, uh, the first day the Tama one was there, and then when I got there, uh, and when I got there the second day, it had gone. Which was a little bit um, disheartened about, but then I, I remembered that the Mapex have got one. Um, and I think it worked out better because like I said, this matches the drum kit that's Mapex and my kit's a Mapex. I just wanted to show off some stuff I bought. I'm gonna put into, I'm gonna put a clip in of me playing on this snare drum um, so you'll see what it sounds like. So if anyone hasn't seen, this is my current drum setup. I might go through a drum kit tour video at some point in the future. But as you can see, 
this is the new snare drum that I bought and I'm going to be using my new if I can if it can focus the lighting in here is not the best the Winsent 5B XL precision sticks um, and just gonna sort of play around the kit So thank you everybody for watching. My name is Drunga. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.